This is Joy of Heaven, Saint of the Day for November 16, as we celebrate the Feast of Saint Margaret of Scotland's Day. Saint Margaret of Scotland was an English princess who lived in the 1000s, she became a Scottish queen. Saint Margaret of Scotland lived in a time of great political unrest. She was well known for her charitable works. Saint Margaret of Scotland was born around the year 1045, in Hungary. Her mother and father were an English princess and prince. She had one brother and one sister. When Margaret was 10 years old, her family returned to England because her father was in line for the throne. But her father died shortly after the family's arrival in England. In 1066, Margaret's mother brought Margaret and her siblings north to flee from political turmoil. Tradition says that Margaret's mother eventually decided to bring her children back to continental Europe, but their ship was caught in a storm on the way there. They were shipwrecked in Scotland in 1068. The Scottish king, Malcolm Canmore III, welcomed Margaret's family. Before long, he fell in love with Margaret who was now in her twenties. In 1070, Margaret married him. Margaret and Malcolm eventually had two daughters and six sons. They raised their children in the Catholic faith and worked to make their daily life together holy. The two of them often prayed together and made a practice of caring for the poor. Margaret had a great influence on the kingly reign of her husband. Her kindness and gentleness helped him to calm his temper and rule the country virtuously. She led all domestic affairs in their home, and her husband often consulted with her over governmental matters. Margaret had a lasting effect on Scotland. She promoted education, put great effort into caring for the needy, and encouraged others to grow in holiness. She also did what she could to help bring about needed reform within the church in areas of abuse. Additionally, Margaret worked to help build churches. The Abbey of Dunfermline, where a relic of the True Cross is held, was built partially because of Margaret's efforts. Margaret devoted her life to prayer and penitential practices. She fasted often and slept little, spending hours in prayer. Margaret's husband Malcolm greatly admired her holy practices. He was so impressed with her holiness that he had some of her books decorated with gold, silver, and jewels. Margaret's husband and their oldest son died 1093 at the Battle of Anak. At the time, Margaret was already ill. She was also frail because of her many ascetical practices. She died four days later. When Margaret was canonized in 1250, Pope Innocent IV noted her life of extraordinary virtue. Saint Margaret of Scotland's feast day is on November 16. Saint Margaret of Scotland is the patron saint of Scotland. You can ask her to pray for you if you live in Scotland or are planning to travel to Scotland. You can also ask her to pray for someone you know who lives in Scotland or is traveling there, or you can ask her to pray for those governing Scotland. Additionally, Saint Margaret is a great saint to seek prayers from on behalf of government officials, since she had a great influence on her husband's rule and helped him to lead his people virtuously. Thank you. Thank you.